everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing yet again another ASOS haul. This one is practically weeks now until I go on my holiday. So it's very much holiday themed, finally getting away, getting a bit of sun, bought some new bikinis, some dresses. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of different things in here. So let's get started. So I started off with a bikini and hopefully I've been brave enough to put on some uh, try-on clips in here. I have filmed me putting the bikinis on. Um, I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain, like, my body is my body. Just because I'm not a size 8 doesn't mean that I shouldn't be, you know, feel ashamed to show it. And this is, this is what I'm going to look like when I'm on holiday. So why not just kind of show you guys what the bikinis actually look like on somebody who is a size 12. Um, so yeah, without further ado, the first bikini I got is, what's it called? It's called ASOS Design Contrast Tie Side Bikini in Ditzy Floral Print. And um, like I said, for size reference, pretty much everything, if not, yeah, everything in this haul is a size 12. So I'm, um, again, like I said in my last video, for reference, I'm 5 foot 10 and I'm a size 12, so I'm tall and a size 12 so these are the bottoms and i've found that these are actually the most flattering style of bottoms on me the ones with the tight sides anything that i can kind of put up on my waist um and wear higher up on my hips i find that more flattering they're not the most cheeky they are a bit more kind of in between like a full brief and kind of a brazilian so that's the kind of style bottom which i like and yeah, very nice. I was very much drawn to the print and anything polka dot, as you can tell, I love. Um, so yeah, these are the bottoms. I love that they had the pink sides, that they're adjustable at the sides. So if I go on holiday, so can these. Um, yeah, so very impressed with this bikini. Really, really like it. The, my only worry is that hopefully it doesn't go at any like see-through as I go in the pool. If not, it will just have to be a tannin one. So those are the bottoms, size 12 in they were 14 pounds so i'll show you the top now so this is the top and oh i need to tie it up at the front but hopefully like i said i've showed the try on clip and you can see what it actually looks like on me um but it took me a while actually to figure out how to tie this up just because there was so many strings and parts they had to tie together and it was just very confusing but I really like this bikini. So this is the top now that I've all tied it all together. So you can see that it's got little bows at the top, it's bow in the middle and then the back is just straight across. So the back is actually really good for tanning but um, I don't think my boyfriend actually pointed out as I was trying it on because I must admit my try on uh, clips aren't the first time I tried this all on. This came yesterday and I was just too excited that I had to try it on right there, right there and then. Gave a boyfriend a fashion show, like you do. Um, yeah, so one thing he pointed out is about the tan, like tan marks. Like obviously a lot of ties going on here, tie in the middle. Potentially not the best for tanning, but surely you can just untie these a little bit and just tuck it in whilst you're tanning. We'll see when I get away. But I really, really like the pattern on this. I think it fits me really nicely. Everything is adjustable. So it, it really just just kind of depends. And you can, it will always fit. Like, unless my boobs get bigger, it pretty much should always fit. So that is the first bikini. And the top, sorry, was top was £18 and the bottom were 14 both size 12 so the next item that i got was a just a bikini bottle i didn't get the top because i think just a plain black top will go with it and yeah i really like these style of bottoms as well if i'm not wearing a tie side and i want something else i really like these and these are really flattering and these are called the asos design recycled mix and match v panel black mono spot bikini bottoms against size 12 and these are 12 pounds these are what they look like so you can tell from the way that they sit there v cut so these are going to go quite high on my hips again like i said hopefully i'll have a try on clip so you can actually see what they look like on me um but yeah really like these they've got a ruched detail here again 
loving the black and white print this book could be a little outfit if i just wanted to throw this on whilst i'm getting ready in my bikini bottoms so yeah very nice and again the bottom isn't very cheeky it's more of that brazilian so not everything is out but again you don't feel like it's like granny style so yeah really like these bottoms again didn't get the top because i just thought i just have a plain black bandeau bikini top and this will go with it and i think this will just go with a lot of things but so i just wanted another style of bikini bottom again very flattering because they're thicker i like either the tie on the side um, i think they're quite flattering or the thicker sides that you can kind of pull up and sit on your waist and higher on your hips so really like those so so far i'm keeping everything that i've showed you this next thing i'm allowed to show you i I'm sadly going to have to send back. Um, I saw this bikini on Sydney, from um, Sydney L on YouTube, and she is full of busted and she's quite tall. So I thought, oh, okay, this should hopefully look good on me. Not that I am full of busted, but you know, she's tall. But the problem is, is one, the material is slightly itchy. So that's the first thing I noticed was the material was slightly itchy, and it's this purple bikini with a gold ribbed effect I thought really sweet really cute really supportive and um, I love the fit of the top do you know what? I, I love the whole bikini they're just certain things that I can't I can't keep it I know I won't wear it so this is the top um and this is again size 12 and 18 pounds it just clips at the back so that's the top I'll just do a bit of a close-up so this is here I don't know if you can hear hear that but it's just a bit itchy it's that classic like almost sequiny sparkly material that is just a bit itchy it isn't like that on the inside but i think i couldn't lie in the sun and just like have my arm brushed against this material it just doesn't feel comfy so that's a shame that's the top and then these are the bottoms which again I love on the model um, and I don't mind on myself because they are again very high waisted on your hips. Uh, I love the style of that the V again similar size on the back in terms of not too cheeky and not too full. I uh, love these little bits here. The only problem I found is this bit here is just very thin like obviously I'd ha I had I would have a wax before going on holiday but I feel like this would have to be like day one of the holiday because anything past that just feel like everything will be hanging out and that's my issue like um hopefully I can show you on the try on clip but I was not bikini ready so whatever was hanging out was hanging out and I don't want to be showing that much on YouTube yeah that's the only issue that the material a little bit itchy not the most comfortable and the front bit i found for me just very tiny and yeah i like to feel fully covered and make sure that i'm not flashing anybody whilst i'm on holiday and i feel like with this yeah i'd have to be careful so unfortunately that is going back the bottoms were 14 pounds again size 12 so that's a shame because i really liked it on sid and i was having i did have high hopes for it but Unfortunately, the material and the style of the bottoms, that is going to have to go back. So the next things that I bought, I actually tried on together. And I'll start with the top, which I already have in white and wear it all the time. But at the top, I have in the normal range of size 10, which is slightly too tight. Um, but so when I found this, I got it in a tall and size 12. So this is just a simple, and it very much reminds me of the Zara uh, tops that everybody's wearing. But it's just a vest, square neck. And that's all it is. Just a square neck vest. This was, because it's ASOS's own, um, £8. £8 for a top like this. So you just tuck it in to most things. Um, I think this will look really nice again on a holiday tucked into a pair of shorts. I have a white pair of like smarter shorts, which I'll bring away. I think it'll look really nice with that. Or just like a denim shorts, denim skirts, um, 
or if you're traveling this with a pair of joggers really comfy i think you'll find, see in the try and clip that i don't really feel like i needed a bra with it obviously it's black so you're not going to see anything so really impressed with this um yeah asos own tall vest in black eight pounds very very impressed with that really like that so that is one thing i'm definitely keeping and will be bringing away with me and what i paired it with just for the sake of the video and i probably would if i was to keep the skirt would pair it that way or with something white was this um maxi skirt and it's kind of that like linen -y material um but sadly, I, when I ordered this, it, it said covered, and whether I just wasn't reading it properly, but I thought the top came with it, and I'll insert a picture of the top and the bottoms together, and I kind of more preferred the top, and I thought, oh, I could kind of like wear it as a set, but I could also wear it separately, but I more preferred the top. So um, I thought the covered came as a covered, and it doesn't. So this is just the skirt that came, and this is £25. And that's why I thought it came together, because I thought it was quite a basic skirt for £25. So I assumed it was coming together, and it doesn't. So again, size 12, maxi skirt. Um, yep, yeah, I'm just not convinced. I don't like it enough. There's two splits at the side. Um, and it's kind of like a beach cover-up, but I suppose if you're on holiday, it doesn't really matter. Just put the nude paired up underwear on. And to be fair, it's a really good length. I really like the colour. I'm just not sure how much wear I'd actually get. And um, the waistband is really stretchy. If I was to have kept it, I could have easily gone for a size 10. Um, the only other thing is here, it just seems a bit strange. Like that's all bunched up. It looks as if the elastic has twisted it inside just a little bit dodgy there. But yeah, for £25, I thought it came as a set. I'm not 100% on the skirt. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just not sure how much wear I would actually get. So this is going back. But I kind of do like it at the same time, but I just don't think I like it enough and get the wear out of it. So unfortunately, this maxi skirt, which is ASOS own, £25 size 12, is going to go back. Then another dress um another dress another thing that i've seen uh, i don't know whether it was sid or l it might have been l actually that was wearing this because i've they recently just uploaded their portugal vlog or when i'm filming this they have probably by the time this video is out i'll literally be going on holiday like either a week or two weeks i'll be going away in a week or two weeks so from when i'm filming this only recently they put up their like, portugal vlogs getting inspiration from what kind of holiday clothes i want and what i want to wear so this what's it called the asos design button front tiered mini dress sundress in blue white stripe size 12. Hmm. and i again had high hopes of this because i was thinking i'd seen that on them i thought it looked really sweet and again i was kind of unsure again when i put it on in the try on clip but it's just this dress i love the blue and white stripe i have a jumpsuit from h&m which is very similar love that it's floaty because i've now realized since going on holiday that i don't want anything too tight i like dresses that are flowy if i eat too much i'm not going to feel self-conscious i usually do put on a bit of weight when i'm on holiday don't we all i eat everything and anything in sight i drink all of the alcohol so naturally i've come back a little bit heavier so i just don't want anything too tight so this i thought was the perfect dress because it has buttons down the front very uh soft cotton material so we don't have to wear a bra but as you might be able to see from the try on clips for a start um this button at the top i just think this is my boobs are too big i was kind of disappointed with this dress um only because I've seen it on L, I thought it looked really nice. But as soon as I put it on, this button, I just thought, how long is it going to stay held there? Because if that comes undone, everything's going to fall out. And I just, I just think if I have eaten as well, this is only going to get tighter across my bust and eventually unpop. So that was the first thing that I thought, mm, maybe not. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually keep this and wear it for that reason at first. And then as I was like swishing it around i just thought i think it's slightly too short for me as well um like i said i'm five foot ten and i think this sort of dress although i love i just think it's too short for me um and i don't want to be feeling self-conscious on holiday that 
if I walk past and the wind blows that everybody's going to see everything as well as potentially the button at the top going to be unpopped so everything will literally be on show which is a shame because I really do like the pattern I love the dress as a whole I just don't think it works for me so this blue dress again size 12 um asos own and it is 28 pounds if you were interested and you think actually it's quite nice i think that will suit me lovely dress just not for me so that's that and the last dress which was the one actually the one that i wasn't i didn't have high hopes for i thought mm, i'm not sure so this is a new look ruffle midi dress in cream size 12 this is $29.99 and when I saw it in the packet, in the packaging, I thought, oh, it's going to be see-through, like, nah, I don't think that one's going to be for me, but I really like the idea of it. So this is it. It has a cross at the back, so it crossed over, crosses over at the back, has this tie bit that you can adjust at the front, so you can have it as booby-ish as you want, which I really like, and again, the straps on the back are also adjustable, so that is really good. Really like that. So this is the pattern, just a close-up. Um, the top bit here is double-lined, and it kind of, even though it says cream, it almost looks a baby yellow, which I really do like. And I think with this lip colour, would be really sweet. So it kind of nips you in at the waist. It's got a zip at the back and then it has these frills down at the bottom and it's slightly lower at the bottom than it is at the front. So it is definitely a midi style, which I thought maybe it will be a bit shorter because I am tall, but it's a really nice length. I like the, the ruffles and stuff. I just like how girly it is. It really reminds me of holiday. I like the kind of yellow, red and green. Um, the only thing that I wasn't sure about is it, at the bottom, the skirt isn't double lined. So that's kind of disappointing. But I mean, even when I'm on a holiday, I don't really mind too much. If it's like slightly see-through, if you just wear the right underwear, it should be fine. Um, but I really like this. I was really pleasantly surprised. So this is um, a new look dress. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's really flattering. And then when I was looking at how to like style it and accessorise it, I got out my espadrille wedges that I got in my last ASOS haul, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen. And it honestly, what is such a nice pairing on the website? I just they had it with these horrible black chunky um, like granddad style sliders or sandals. I just I'm sorry to anyone that likes that, but I hate that trend. I think they are genuinely so ugly. So they styled it with those and I thought, let me look past the way that they've styled it with the um, sandals because it's really not selling it to me like that. And then when it came and I tried it on with those sandals, with the lace up at the leg and the little bow at the back, I just thought that is such a nice combination. So I can't wait to wear this on holiday. I think it's going to look really sweet. Um, yeah, so pleasantly surprised with that. Um, definitely think I'll get my wear out of it. Like I said, size 12, 29.99. And that is the last dress. Um, it felt like I ordered quite a lot, but after trying it all on and going through this video, I don't feel like I've actually ordered too much. And considering um, I've, my order was like 150 pounds, a lot of the stuff is actually going back. So out of all of that, I'm only keeping the first bikini, the polka dot with a pink tie, the black bikini bottoms, the black vest top and the um, the last dress, like the lemon dress. So all of the other items are going back. Um, but it's a shame because all of them I actually do quite like. There's just elements that I'm like, oh, not sure how much wear I'm going to get out of that on holiday or if I feel that comfortable in it. So yeah, that is everything for this haul. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Keep your eyes peeled for me wearing these on holiday because you best believe I'm going to be vlogging my trip when I go away to Cyprus. I will be doing a couple of other videos whilst I'm out there. So definitely one of them you'll see me wearing these pieces. Also keep an eye out for my Instagram because again, I'll be styling them and wearing these pieces when I'm there along with a lot of other holiday pictures so i hope you've all enjoyed this video give it a big like follow me on my socials and i will see you in the next video bye